From setbacks come breakthroughs. These words echo through SpaceX's mission control as engineers analyze the data from Starship Flight 8. The massive rocket stands as humanity's boldest step toward making life multiplanetary, but the journey there isn't without turbulence. Flight 8 revealed critical issues that must be addressed. Engine failures during boost back burn, vacuum engine fires, and thrust imbalances that sent the ship tumbling out of control. The launch site itself bears the scars of this incredible machine's power. Now SpaceX faces its most defining moment, turning these hard-learned lessons into rapid innovations. With launches scheduled at an increasingly ambitious pace, the clock is ticking. How will SpaceX transform these challenges into the stepping stones toward full reusability? What technological breakthroughs will emerge from these failures? Today, we're exploring the engineering mysteries behind Starship's Flight 8 performance, the revolutionary upgrades already in development, and what to expect in the coming weeks as SpaceX races to implement solutions that could forever change our approach to space travel. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, your front row seat to humanity's greatest adventure beyond Earth. Let's dive right in. Flight 8 presented a stark contrast in SpaceX's ambitious Starship program. As Super Heavy executed its second successful landing, a feat that seemed impossible just years ago, Starship itself encountered a cascade of failures that demand innovative solutions. In the high-stakes world of next-generation rocketry, these contrasting outcomes embody SpaceX's journey of rapid iteration. The technical issues began subtly but escalated rapidly. Small fires erupted in the vacuum engines high above Earth, visible in SpaceX's live feed as bright flares against the black backdrop of space. These fires were soon followed by telltale signs of propellant leaks in the sea-level engines. A potentially catastrophic development as Starship continued its ascent. Engineers at Mission Control watched as onboard systems detected these anomalies and began emergency shutdown procedures. One by one, engines went offline until only two vacuum engines remained operational. Without balanced thrust, Starship began to tumble, its trajectory becoming increasingly erratic until failure was inevitable. Each engine shutdown narrowed our control margins, a SpaceX flight director later explained. With only two vacuum engines, we simply couldn't maintain stable flight dynamics. The launch site itself bore witness to Starship's raw power. High-speed cameras captured ground support equipment being scattered by intense vibrations, while dust and debris damaged nearby monitoring systems. These environmental challenges add another layer of complexity to SpaceX's already daunting technical hurdles. Perhaps most concerning were the issues that emerged before liftoff. The March 3rd launch attempt ended in a scrub when Super Heavy's fuel pump system failed to generate the pressure required for engine ignition. Additionally, the hot staging clamp system, designed to facilitate the critical separation between stages, exhibited troubling behavior during pre-launch preparations. SpaceX's approach to these challenges reflects their unique engineering philosophy. Rather than making incremental fixes, they're pursuing revolutionary redesigns that address root causes. At the center of this strategy is Raptor 3, a next-generation engine that represents a complete rethinking of rocket propulsion. Raptor 3's design philosophy focuses on radical simplification. Unlike the intricate, component-dense designs of Raptor 1 and 2, the new engine eliminates numerous small, sensitive parts that have historically been failure points under extreme conditions. This approach dramatically reduces potential ignition failures and mid-flight shutdowns, precisely the issues that compromise Flight 8. Raptor 3 is to Raptor 2 what the jet engine was to the propeller. One propulsion engineer noted, it's not just an improvement, it's a fundamental evolution in design thinking. Although the current Super Heavy variant remains in V1 configuration, internal documents suggest SpaceX is considering implementing Raptor 3 before the full V2 rollout. This proactive strategy would allow engineers to evaluate its real-world performance and gather critical data to inform future designs. For the pressure generation issues that forced the March 3rd scrub, SpaceX is pursuing a comprehensive redesign of the fuel pump system. The new configuration incorporates enhanced redundancies and more robust pressure management capabilities, ensuring reliable ignition pressure even under suboptimal conditions. The hot staging system, 
critical for the clean separation of Starship from Super Heavy, is undergoing an equally ambitious overhaul. Engineers have developed a new design featuring improved thermal protection and simplified mechanics. These changes are slated for implementation on both V2 and V3 Starship variants. The ship itself requires multiple synchronized upgrades to address the failures witnessed during Flight 8. SpaceX is fundamentally rethinking its approach to harmonic resonance, the vibration patterns that triggered leaks and fires during ascent. Enhanced venting and nitrogen purge systems are being implemented to better manage pressure and thermal conditions during flight. These systems will provide more precise control over the internal environment of the vehicle, preventing the buildup of dangerous pressure differentials that contributed to the Flight 8 failure. The liquid oxygen tank system in the V2 design expanded to increase fuel capacity, has revealed unexpected structural weaknesses under flight conditions. While temporary reinforcements were implemented immediately after Flight 8, a comprehensive redesign is now underway. The new configuration features strengthened bulkheads and improved internal baffles to control liquid movement during dynamic flight maneuvers. Perhaps most ambitious is SpaceX's consideration of accelerating the transition to Starship 5-3. This next-generation design would incorporate all lessons learned from previous flights while ensuring complete system compatibility across the vehicle. The launch infrastructure supporting Starship's development is receiving equally critical attention. SpaceX is implementing enhanced monitoring systems for all mission-critical components, including the water deluge system, orbital launch mount communications, ship quick disconnect, and the chopsticks mechanism. The chopsticks themselves are undergoing significant mechanical reinforcement. New actuators providing greater precision and strength are being installed, along with enhanced protective shields to guard against the extreme forces experienced during operations. These upgrades will improve both the stacking process and the critical catching maneuver that enables rapid reusability. Rather than implementing all these changes to the currently used Pad A, which would require extended downtime, SpaceX is evaluating significant upgrades to Pad B. This parallel development approach allows engineers to incorporate advanced designs in a clean slate environment while maintaining launch capability. What makes these developments truly remarkable is the compressed timeline under which they're being implemented. Elon Musk has publicly indicated a launch window of just four to six weeks for the next attempt, giving engineers and technicians an incredibly narrow window to implement what would normally be months of modifications. Currently, Booster 16, B16, and Ship 35, S35 are progressing through the testing phase at Starbase. Engineers are working in round-the-clock shifts to implement modifications both before and after testing phases. The testing protocols themselves have been completely revised to better simulate actual flight conditions allowing for more accurate data collection and analysis. For the next mission, SpaceX aims to attempt another super heavy catch while performing a controlled ocean landing for Starship. This incremental approach allows them to validate improvements to the catch system before expanding the capability to include Starship itself, a critical milestone on the path to full reusability. Beyond these immediate fixes, several key milestones remain on Starship's operational roadmap. Validating multiple engine relights in space, first demonstrated in Flight 6. Preparing for payload deployment capabilities with functional payload bay doors. Testing re-entry procedures with improved heat shield tiles and control surfaces. Demonstrating precise landing capabilities essential for future lunar and Mars missions. All these objectives depend entirely on resolving the fundamental ship issues identified in Flight 8 making the current engineering sprint perhaps the most crucial phase of Starship's entire development program. The entire aerospace industry is closely monitoring SpaceX's response to these challenges. NASA's Artemis program relies heavily on a functional Starship HLS variant for its ambitious lunar landing plans, while commercial satellite operators await the unprecedented payload capacity that Starship promises to deliver to orbit. Defense contractors are particularly interested in SpaceX's solutions to the harmonic resonance issues, as similar problems affect hypersonic vehicle development. The innovations developed for Starship could potentially influence the next generation of military aerospace technology. While SpaceX works to overcome its Starship challenges, another space frontier is advancing rapidly. 
On February 28th, V SpaceX's journey with Starship embodies the essence of innovation through adversity. Each technical challenge uncovered in Flight 8 is being met with revolutionary solutions. From the simplified Raptor 3 engines to enhanced structural designs and reinforced launch infrastructure. Eight minutes. That's how long it took for SpaceX's monumental achievement to transform into yet another explosive setback. After multiple delays and a nail-biting last-minute scrub, Starship Flight 8 finally lifted off from Starbase in Texas, carrying the hopes of SpaceX's ambitious space program. The initial launch was nothing short of spectacular. The world's largest rocket, standing at a towering 400 feet, thundered skyward with the raw power of 33 Raptor engines generating nearly 17 million pounds of thrust. As it climbed through the atmosphere, Starship conquered Max-Q, the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure, without even flinching. Then came a milestone moment. The super heavy booster separated flawlessly before executing what many thought impossible. It returned to Earth and was caught by the mechanical arms of Mechazilla, marking SpaceX's first successful booster catch. But just when victory seemed certain, disaster struck. At approximately eight minutes into the flight, the upper stage began tumbling uncontrollably. Within seconds, it erupted into a fireball high above the Caribbean Sea, leaving only debris and questions in its wake. This wasn't a random failure. It was a catastrophic event mirroring the explosion of Flight 7 in January. And now we have crucial information about what went wrong and how SpaceX plans to address these recurring issues. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Let's dive right in.